What is VMware? Simply put, VMware develops virtualization software. Virtualization software creates an abstraction layer over computer hardware that allows the hardware elements of a single computer, processors, memory, storage, and more, to be divided into multiple virtual computers, commonly called virtual machines, VMs. Each virtual machine runs its own operating system, OS, and behaves like an independent computer, even though it is running on a portion of the actual underlying computer hardware. As you can imagine, virtualization enables more efficient utilization of computer hardware and enables a greater return on an organization's hardware investment. It also enables cloud providers, public or private, to serve more users with their existing physical computer hardware. VMware Workstation Pro 16 features allows you to run multiple operating systems on a single Windows, uses the latest hardware technologies to deploy server, desktop or tablet environments in a virtual machine, help you evaluate new operating systems, test software applications and patches, and reference architectures in an isolated and safe environment, offers unmatched operating system support, rich user experience and incredible performance, capability to assign more processor cores, gigabytes of memory, and graphics memory to every virtual machine. Incredibly maximize your PC's resources to run the most challenging programs in a virtual environment. Provides professional users with all the necessary functions to run and test multiple operating systems on the same computer. Uses a powerful built-in engine that makes it easy for developers to introduce virtual infrastructure to the company and increase productivity. Allows you to perform basic operations between virtual machines, such as cutting, copying, and pasting text, images, or email attachments offers a clean and very well-organized user interface with a home panel that includes shortcuts for the most important utilities. Offers support for a multi-tabbed layout and you can let multiple virtual machines to be opened at once. VMware Infrastructure Architecture Overview VMware Infrastructure is the industry's first full infrastructure virtualization suite that allows enterprises and small businesses alike to transform, manage and optimize their IT systems infrastructure through virtualization. VMware Infrastructure delivers comprehensive virtualization, management, resource optimization, application availability and operational automation capabilities in an integrated offering. Physical topology of the VMware Infrastructure Data Center With VMware Infrastructure, IT departments can build a virtual data center using their existing industry standard technology and hardware. There is no need to purchase specialized hardware. In addition, VMware infrastructure allows users to create a virtual data center that is centrally managed by management servers and can be controlled through a wide selection of interfaces. Management Server The virtual center management server provides a convenient single point of control to the data center. It runs on Windows 2003 server to provide many essential data center services such as access control, performance monitoring and configuration. It unifies the resources from the individual computing servers to be shared among virtual machines in the entire data center. As Virtuous Center Management Server accomplishes this by managing the assignment of virtual machines to the computing servers. Virtual Center Management Server also manages the assignment of resources to the virtual machines within a given computing server based on the policies set by the system administrator. Virtual Data Center Architecture VMware Infrastructure virtualizes the entire IT infrastructure including servers, storage and networks. It aggregates these heterogeneous resources and presents a simple and uniform set of elements in the virtual environment. With VMware Infrastructure, IT resources can be managed like a shared utility and dynamically provisioned to different business units and projects without worrying about the underlying hardware differences and limitations. Hosts, Clusters and Resource Pools Hosts, clusters and resources pools provide flexible and dynamic ways to organize the aggregated computing and memory resources in the virtual environment and link them back to the underlying physical resources. A host represents the aggregate computing and memory resources of a physical x86 server. For example, if the physical x86 server has four dual-core CPUs running at 4 GHz each and 32 GB of system memory, then the host will have 32 GHz of computing power and 32 GBs of memory available for running virtual machines that are assigned to it. A cluster represents the aggregate computing and memory resources of a group of physical x86 servers sharing the same network and storage arrays. For example, if the group contains 8 servers, each server has 4 dual-core CPUs running at 4 GHz each and 32 GB of memory. 
The cluster will then have 256 GHz of computing power and 256 GB of memory available for the running virtual machines assigned to it. The virtual resource owners do not need to be concerned with the physical composition, number servers, quantity and type of CPUs, multi-core, hyper-threading, etc., of the underlying cluster to provision resources. They simply set up the resource provisioning policies based on the aggregate available resource. VMware infrastructure will automatically assign the appropriate resources dynamically to the virtual machines within the boundaries of those policies. VMware vMotion, as mentioned earlier, virtual machines run on and consume resources from individual physical x86 servers through VMware ESX server. vMotion enables the migration of running virtual machines from one physical server to another without service interruption as shown in figure 1 to 6. This allows virtual machines to move from a heavily loaded server to a lightly loaded one. The effect is a more efficient assignment of resources. Hence, with vMotion, resources can be dynamically reallocated to virtual machines across physical servers. VMware DRS, taking the vMotion capability one step further by adding an intelligent scheduler, VMware DRS enables the system administrator to set resource assignment policies that reflect business needs and let VMware DRS do the calculation and automatically handle the detailed physical resource assignments. VMware DRS dynamically monitors the workload of the running virtual machines and the resource utilization of the physical servers within a cluster. It checks those results against the resource assignment policies, if there is a potential for violation or improvement. It utilizes motion and dynamically reassigns virtual machines to different physical servers to ensure that the policies are compiled and resource allocation is optimal. Networking architecture. VMware infrastructure is the only solution that provides a rich set of virtual networking elements that makes networking the virtual machines in the data center as easy and simple as in the physical environment. Furthermore, it enables a new set of capabilities not possible in the physical environment because many of the limitations in the physical world don't apply. Storage architecture. The VMware infrastructure enables enterprise-class storage performance, functionality and availability without adding complexity to the user applications and guest operating systems. The VMware infrastructure storage architecture consists of layers of abstraction that hide and manage the complexity and differences between physical storage subsystems and present simple standard storage elements to the virtual environment to the applications and guest operating systems inside each virtual machine. Storage is presented simply as SCSI disks connected to a virtual bus logic or LSI SCSI host bus adapter. Raw device mapping. An RDM can be thought of as a symbolic link from a VMFS volume to a raw loon. The mapping makes LUNs appear as files in a VMFS volume. The mapping files, not the raw loon, is referenced in the virtual machine configuration. When a loon is opened for access, VMFS resolves the RDM file to the correct physical device and performs appropriate access checks and locking. Thereafter, reads and writes go directly to the raw loon rather than going through the mapping file. VMware Consolidated Backup VMware Infrastructure's storage architecture enables a simple virtual machine backup solution, VMware Consolidated Backup. Consolidated Backup provides an easy-to-use, centralized facility for agent-less backup of virtual machines. Consolidated Backup works in conjunction with a third-party backup agent residing on a separate backup proxy server, not on the server running ESX server, but does not require an agent inside the virtual machines. The third-party backup agent manages the backup schedule. It starts consolidated backup when it is time to do a backup. Once started, consolidated backup runs a set of pre-backup scripts to quiesce the virtual disks to take their snapshots. It then runs a set of post-thaw scripts to restore the virtual machine back to normal operation. At the same time, it mounts the disk snapshot to the backup proxy server. Finally, the third-party backup agent backs up the files on the mounted snapshot to its backup targets. By taking snapshots of the virtual disks and backing them up at any time without worrying about backup windows or need to quiesce applications, consolidated backup provides a simple, less intrusive and low overhead backup solution for the virtual environment.